Hey guys, just finished watching Krypton, Season 1, Episode 7, Transformation. Um, what an episode with this. This was a pretty interesting episode, Episode 7 out of 10. Um, so it's really, we only have three more episodes left. It's really getting cool. I think we're getting down to the to the line. And it's interesting the way they're doing Brainiac um, by having him part of, of Rao and stuff. And it, it's interesting the way they're doing that. I would have liked to see a little bit more, especially with only seven episodes left. Hopefully we could see him full Brainiac and see him the whole time. I mean, we, we, they teased him all throughout the um and the trailer is leading up to the to the show, and yet we still haven't really seen full Brainiac. Yeah, we got Rao, who's who's infected by Brainiac. We still would like to see him in full Brainiac form. So, um, this episode starts off with uh, Jada Jada Zod um, running from Zod from the end of last episode, where she they tried to do the cute the 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 coup, and uh, he reveals himself and starts infecting everyone. Um, she's the only one who didn't get infected. Uh, so, uh, for what we think right there, and then uh, Brainiac uh, infects all the soldiers. Darren Vex pledges his allegiance to Brainiac because he's terrified of him. Um, Strange, uh, his boom tube is not working, so he's trying to get back, and he ends up having um, Val L, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, Val L, um, setting and changing his, uh, fixing it in the Fortress of Solitude. And it's interesting because Adam Strange knows how to use the, how to operate the Fortress of Solitude. He knows how to do this stuff. So he's met Superman. He's already, he's even been, clearly he's been in uh, the Fortress of Solitude back in his time. And he's even mentioned the Justice League. So they all exist. So that's really going to be cool to see if we get to see anyone um, as to who, if we get to see anyone in his timeline. It would be cool to see that if at the end of the season he does go back to his time. It would be cool to see the Justice League and Superman there. Or just to see a Superman and just see him there. I think it would be quite uh pretty cool to see that just to see that he you know helped keep superman uh and, and, and have him there like it would be cool to see that that superman does exist uh it would be quite uh, interesting to see to, to see that um you know he goes back and superman is there type of thing that would be quite fun to see or even just something that kind of teases that superman is back type thing it would be quite um cool to see as well all in all it's going to be interesting to see where things go with this adam strange storyline um darren vex tries to kill his daughter but it's a hologram uh, and then she, she kind of turns on him, obviously, <laughs> he tried to kill her. Uh, Devin M is still alive, but he uh, is still alive. Strange wants to go back uh, in time and send someone else. And uh, Segel helps uh, lead... Uh, uh, Nisa, Nisa X, Nisa Vex uh, escape and stuff. Um, and then Devin reveals himself to be controlled by Brainiac. And then, try, and then Lita ends up trying to kill him, ends up killing him. Uh, to save her, her mother. So that was quite interesting with that. And then Jaina Zod meets uh, Ger uh, General Zod. So uh, Lita's mother ends up meeting uh, her great her grandson type of thing, General Zod. So that was quite interesting. They asked, she straight up asked, who is your father? And he says it's just a random soldier and stuff. So I think that's really going to be cool to see that. See that inev inevitable future. Um, who knows how, how long, uh, you know, when things are happening. Um, one of the questions they should have asked was, because uh, yes, he said, you know, who is your father? And he's like, yeah, I don't know him. He was just a random soldier who got killed later on. So maybe she, you know, she gets pregnant off, off of a, uh, a one night stand or a fling type thing. Uh, so that's quite interesting to see that. Um, they should have asked him, and I guess, he, I guess I'll ask him, but uh, when was he born? You know, what was his birthday? Type thing, and that's something that he should know. Um, or maybe he doesn't know his birthday. That would be quite interesting to see. Um, or at least how old-ish is he? Um, and he's has if he doesn't have an idea or if he has a, a general idea, and it would be cool to see that, to see how old um, you know he should be type thing. So that's going to be cool to see where things uh, come from because it, it's unclear if this version of General Zod and Adam Strange, did they come back from the same timeline? Did they both come from 2018? Did they both come from, you know, that same timeline? Or did one come from 2018, the other one come from 2025 or, you know, 1980, you know? They would be quite interested to see that, to see if they're from the same exact timeline. Um, or if there's a few different years uh, of difference from there. That would be quite interesting to see that. Then, Reval and then uh, Rao ends up revealing himself. Publicly. Now, he doesn't end up revealing himself exactly as Brainiac or anything. He ends up revealing himself as a sun god, like he, like they are, they believe in him, and he walks into the fire and he gets everyone to, everyone starts believing him when they were uh, going, going to set up to to shoot um, the Rao. So he revealed himself as Brainiac and it would scare off the rest of the population and stuff, but <clears throat> when he reveals himself as the sun god, he ends up getting everyone on his side so now everyone is even more on his side and praying to him so that's going to be really cool to see 
where things go with this for the end of this season since we only have three more episodes left um and it looks like next week's episode they're going to continue on with that by going after Rao. now they have to kill him instead of just before they just had to you know let him reveal it make him reveal himself as brainiac but now he's revealed himself and it's quite interesting to see i feel like there's still an opportunity though to he revealed himself, but not exactly 100% as Brainiac. So if he, they could get him to reveal himself as Brainiac, they could still get that option. They still get the, everyone to turn on him, and everyone would not like what's come from him. So I think that's really going to be cool to see that, um, to see where things go with this. And now that he's, you know, now that everyone's on his side, and then the whole storyline with uh, with Adam Strange, where you know he then deletes um, at the end of the episode, he deletes uh, the conversation he's been having this whole episode with Fala. Val L in the Fortress of Solitude and decides that yes, no, I need to stay here um, after Val convinces him to stay and help fight because he's a, he is a hero and he may not be a superhero, but he is definitely a hero. So I think that's really going to be cool to see that. And it looks like in next week's episode, he does end up stopping or trying to stop Sail from killing Brainiac. Um, you know, and he needs to keep Superman intact so that, you know, the planet eventually ends up blowing up in 200 years. Uh, if, they, if they stop that, and they, you know, they, they stop Superman. So that's going to be cool to play with that and to play where things are uh, coming on here. So, and we also did get a mention of, like I said, we got the mention of the Justice League. We also got the mention of Power Ring. So it's a reference to Green Lantern. So that could be really cool seeing that. Definitely can't wait to see where things are going to go from here. I did get some, I remember there were some mentions uh, in behind the scenes videos that they wanted to do, bring Hawkman and or some, at least um, some of the Hawk people, I can't think of their names, but uh, um, Danny Gary and Danny Gar bring some of them inside and also bring, it would be cool to see some uh, some Green Lanterns, even if they're just, you know, casually going by, it would be quite fun to see that. So I think it could be quite interesting to see maybe if they end up defeating uh, Brainiac without really killing him um, and breaking timeline. Uh, maybe they, they end up defeating Brainiac and a Green Lantern shows up to, uh, to to bring him and put him, you know, away. To, and that could be quite interesting with that, how to see if there is a Brainiac out there. And what would he, uh, it would be cool to see what would a Kryptonian a Green Lantern look like. It would be quite cool to see that. Um, and what type of powers would they then have on a, on a Yellow Sun. Although I doubt they're going to do all that on a TV budget. That would It wouldn't be cool though, but we'll have to wait and see whether or where things are going to go with this. So all in all, I like the way things are going with this. But like I said, I'd like to see more of Brainiac and actually have him involved. Maybe see him, you know, do some stuff. Because it's quite interesting the way they're doing with this show. It's very... It's an origin to the superhero stuff, but it's not really superhero-y. Um, and obviously it wouldn't be so much. Uh, but I'm feeling like it would be cool to see a little bit more superhero ness inside of here, you know. Um, it would be cool to see. It would be cool if, you know, if they end up failing and stuff. And then Adam Strange has to go back to his time and has to get someone else to help him. It would be quite cool to see that. Um, or I'm hoping that maybe Adam Strange leaves at the end of the season. And then maybe for, for season two, which I'm not sure if this may get confirmed yet for it. But I imagine they might confirm it. If they're going to confirm it, they'll wait till the end. till all episodes have been aired and then and then decide whether or not, you know, they're, they're going to get another one. So, um, what well, would be cool is to see Adam Strange leave at the end of the season and see Booster Gold jump in, and then with a whole different storyline, and that can be quite interesting to uh, playing with that and having him, you know, in, in full costume and all that stuff. Um, or maybe Adam Strange goes back, and then the last episode, he getting giving him a costume would be really cool. Seeing him flying around with his space helmet and his jetpack and all that stuff that he has in the comics, that would be quite cool. Seeing that. Um, and like I said, for next season, it would be cool. Someone like Booster Gold in, in a folk in costume with with the the tech and all that stuff would be quite cool. Playing with that. So all in all, this episode was quite quite interesting. Uh, it's definitely going to be cool to see what things go with this. And you know, is uh, is Strange going to end up killing General Zod? Um, and how things are going to go with that? That could be quite interesting to see where things continue on from here. And if we get to see the one thing we haven't been uh, we haven't seen in here yet is the the Phantom Zone. So that could be cool seeing that seeing where things go from here so let me know what you think guys about this in the up in the comments below and what other your superman things from the lower superman would you like to see in this show before the end or for our next first season two and uh i'll see you guys in the next video peace out Kalo, my future grandson this is the story of the house of l the story of your family isn't how we died but how we lived <laughs>